Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Gore Olympics, the biggest game show in Battlefield. Introducing your commentator this evening, the Fly Guy, Chidosha. Thanks, Steve, and welcome to the second episode of the Battlefield 4 Gore Olympics with me, your host, Shidosha the Fly Guy. The Gore Olympics is a weekly event created by that mastermind Winogore where players face off in a bunch of crazy game modes in Battlefield 4. Let's move on over to the first event. And welcome to the first event. China and America will be facing off today in an 8v8 jet ski joust. All jet skis are kitted out with the latest top of the line camos and resupply packs, as well as seasoned RPG rooftop rumblers riding shotgun. As usual in all events this week, there is no respawning, and both teams will be using RPGs only. After a quick camera check, we'll get started with the first event. And right off the mark, we've got both teams firing volleys of rockets towards each other. The distance is roughly six times that of the RPG rooftop rumble, so our seasoned veterans' accuracy will be put to the test here. The arena center has become a war zone. Both teams are going to have to adjust to firing from the back of a jet ski. The first jet ski is down with Lord Z securing a double kill for the American team. The Chinese team have been quick to respond though as Chief takes out Rabbit Narwhal and Professor Zeta. Chief sacrifices himself to take out another jet ski and his teammate Dog Unicorn secures another kill. The Chinese team makes short work of the final US jet ski, which means China is leading with one point. Let's move on to round number two. Wow, and a two for one as the Chinese team manages to take out two of the US jet skis on the first pass. China's quickly making short work of the US team. And with that, they secure victory in round number two. So our third bonus round is a mini gun battle. Both teams will enter the arena in groups of two and the surviving team win. And China seems to be putting on a show for the audience here. They seem pretty confident after their round two win. Let's see if America performs better with miniguns than they did with RPGs. And the Chinese team is going on the aggressive. Meanwhile, the Americans seem to be unsure and are staying back to focus on aiming. Wow, and one of the American team members manages to beach themselves. This round isn't looking too good for the American team. We have two boats remaining now with multiple players beaching themselves on the same stretch of land. We're down to a 1v1 now as the Chinese team are hunting down the Americans. Ladies and gentlemen, it appears as though one of our camera drones has malfunctioned. We're not quite sure how that happened, but it appears to have carried the Chinese team's boat out of the arena. We're getting word now that the Chinese team has been disqualified, and America has won the third round, leaving the scores at 2-1 to one to the Chinese team for today's event. I'll see you all after a quick commercial break. Are you stuck wondering what to buy Little Timmy for Christmas this year? Well, look no further. Here at Allen's Military Repo and Toy Barn, we have a huge selection of military-grade toys for you and your son to play with. We have EOD bots straight off the assembly line of the Gore Olympics Battle Royale. Some people call me mad for retrofitting them with top-of-the-line AI intelligence chips, but that makes them oh so much cuter when they melt the faces off those kids that were bullying little Timmy. Everything must go, so come on down today! With our free money-back guarantee, you've got nothing to lose. Whoa, 
welcome back to the Gore Olympics. We've had an eventful first half of boats flying all over the place. I'm sure you'll be happy to hear that the next event takes place on dry ground. <laughs> event two is called the LMG Juggernaut. In this LMG only battle, our players come equipped with the latest dice armor and stims, which helps them to withstand 10,000% more damage than the average soldier. Confined to this tiny arena, they will fight to the death in a last man standing battle royale. As you can see, the event is beginning to kick off as they mix themselves together like a blender. And with that, the first shot is fired off. Oh, this is mayhem. It's a frenzy. There's bullets flying everywhere. There's damage being done. I see people trying to crouch. There's people trying to hide behind the flag. There's people trying to leave the arena. There is so much mayhem going on right now within this LMG juggernaut battle. This is absolute mayhem inside, and as you can see, there are multiple Chinese and American players eliminating each other just like that, with a couple of these players trying to actually tank the bullets and distribute damage. It's not working too well, though. The last Chinese player here is trying to deny the inevitable as he circles the flag. Oh wow, and he gets clotheslined by a bullet. Can we please see the replay on that one? And that's all for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I've been your host, Shadosha the Fly Guy. And if you'd like to take part in the Gore Olympics, make sure to check out the description below. I'll see you all next time. Breakers. Yeah.